trending news. Let them see how painful it is. Umayi threatens to go after parents of gunmen in Eboi. The details. Governor of Eboi State, David Umayi, has threatened to go after the parents of gunmen who had been carrying out attacks in Eboi State. The governor said this during the signing of the contract agree- agreement for the construction of the second phase of the Abakaliki Ring Road at the governor's office in Abakaliki on Wednesday, October 6. In a statement released by the governor's spokesperson, Francis Umwaze, the Eboi state government governor stated that if what those behind the attack want his job, it will be provided for them. He also said traditional rulers, coordinators of development centers, and council chairmen will be held accountable for any breach of peace in the state. Umayi said, There will be no killings again or burning of houses in my state. If the problem is that they do not have anything doing, bring them. I will find them something doing. But if they refuse and you fail to bring their names to me, you will pay the price. All I need is information. If they take this offer, I will not go after their parents. About this Monday thing, you must mobilize people to the market, the security to patrol the streets and everywhere, because you know those boys and you know their parents. Any further killings, I will go after the parents of those boys. Let them see how painful it is, spilling the blood of innocent souls, people because you are promised heaven and earth. You allow people to import criminals and they are in the bushes, killing our people, and you are keeping quiet. Enough is enough. I have charged Ebuagu to roll out today and do their work. The governor of the Ebony State has threatened to go after the parents of the gunmen. Those criminals are the kidnapping that are killing, that are shedding blood in the states. He says, let them see how painful it is when he goes after the parent of the government. He said that the parent of the government knows exactly where the government are. And if they did not provide them out, that is going to, tra- is going to do whatsoever it wants to do to them. He said that the police people should go ahead with their duty. He said they are allowing criminals to come into the states, making them stay in bushes, and they are killing other people. And the police people and the Nigeria army are keeping quiet. He said enough is enough, that there will be no further killing in the states. He's going to go about after the parents of those boys. To let them see how painful it is, spilling the blood of innocent souls. He maintained that Sherman, including the traditional rulers, knows the hoodlums, their parents, and even the various forests they are hiding, but for their political interest for 2023, refused to expose them. His word said, You council chairman, Traditional rulers, you know the parents of those boys because any killing again, I will go after the parents of those boys so they can know how painful it takes to spill the blood of innocent people. You know them. You even know their houses, families, and friends. You know the forest where they are hiding. And all I am asking is information. But due to your political interest, maybe to use them ahead of 2023 elections. You have refused to expose them, but it is not going to be business as usual. If further charge local government chairmen and traditional rulers to preach to hoodlums now that the state government amnesty is still ongoing, but anyone who fails to change, all I need for you is to bring up their names to me. But if you fail, you will bear the consequences of any of their actions against the people of the state again. And I am telling you to ask them to come over and be empowered. The issue is that they have nothing doing, but I am ready to get them something meaningful to do and stop killing our people. There should be no killings and burning of houses in my state, the governor said. Today I announce 
that it has come to an end. But if this happens again, you people will pay the price. All I need is information and I want them to take the amnesty. I am not going to arrest anybody. I will empower, I will empower them, integrate them, but nobody should kill anybody again. There is nothing the South E governors have not done. But you see shamans, including traditional rulers, folding their arms, watching the killings. And from today, any local government chairman or traditional rulers who fails to take up the responsibility of security in his or her domain will be prosecuted for not living up to his constitutional oath. Enough is enough. The governor came up and said, the traditional leaders are keeping quiet because of the 2020 elections, maybe because they want to use these criminals, these hoodlums, against the 2023 elections. And the governor is making it known to them that if they did not provide information to him, they will be the one to, to, to pay the price. They will be the one to pay the price. And if it's that they do not have anything to do, they should bring them to him and is as is ready to provide jobs for them he said enough is enough they we don't want killings again there will not be killings and burning of houses in my state again he said he's not going to arrest anybody but he will empower them he's going to integrate them but nobody should kill anybody again we want a peaceful state we want a peaceful airborne state Enough is enough. If you know wherever the criminals are hiding, it's urging the traditional rulers to speak. That the traditional rulers knows exactly where the criminals are hiding. He knows the parents of the criminals. And he's telling him, them that if they do not provide the criminals, he will go after the parents of these gunmen so that they will know that spilling of blood is not easy so that they will feel the pain of spilling innocent people's blood he said that he urged the local government chairman to preach to hoodlums now that the state government amnesty is still ongoing this is coming in when the emo state said go after criminal elements who's all the charges troops in Imo State, the Imo State Governor, Zenito Ope Uzodima, has called on the Nigeria Army troops, troops to target criminal elements in the state and ensure they are brought to justice. Uzodima stated this while flagging up exercise Golden Dawn, a 34 Artillery Brigade forward operation based at Olu, Imo State, on Wednesday. The Governor noted that the Army, its sister services, should come up together to curb insecurity and make sure that those people are brought to justice. Thank you for listening and God bless you.